Welcome back, everybody, to Clean Radio. Uh, we have a great show going tonight. We got calls lining up. Yay. We're in the studio with G- Jennifer, always an easy on the eyes, Jimenez, <laughs> with makeup or without makeup. Aww. Patrick, who's better than him tonight, sitting in between two beautiful Patrick. women. Who's I mean, Patrick? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh Eric, my God, Eric. And the reason you'll know, I'm I know yeah. is is an Eric. Adams, who's been on rehab, who's got 90 days sober tonight. Yes. I want to, but before we go to the calls, I want, and Erica uh, Abfab Spiegelman from ericaspiegelman.com, I want to tell you something really profound about what's going on here tonight is because you are sitting in between two beautiful women. Yes. When I used to drink in Arizona, um, <laughs> really, Arizona. And I know. Just going. I was living in Mesa, Arizona, and every, um, every, every Saturday night I used to walk down uh, Mill, whatever avenue it was there. And I used to stare inside this place called the Coffee Plantation. It was right by Arizona State oh, University. We had one in Tucson. Okay, so there you go. It might have been in Tucson. Well, it was but right by ASU. And I used to stare at the people inside, at these, at the people that were sober drinking coffee. And I used to just stare at them. And I, yeah. I, all I wanted was to be sitting inside with the, them. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be sitting inside with the, what I perceive as beautiful people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wanted to get off what I was doing. But the problem is when you have addiction, it's so hard you can't get to the other side of the glass. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And right now, I can't think of anything better. We're all blessed in here. We're sitting For with sure. really great people, and this doesn't happen if we're if we're using. Right. No. Right. No. None of it. None of it. And so um, let's get back. We got tons of calls coming in from all across America. Actually, awesome. Let's go to Patrick. He's checking in from Austin. <laughs> Welcome back to Clean Radio, Patrick. Ooh, we've got a lot. Hey, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Patrick. Oh, I, I should hit the button. Yeah, well, good one. Yes, uh, that's... Uh, Hi, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Hello. Hi, Hi, honey. How are you? I'm doing very good. That's oh. great. That's good. So Patrick called in. Patrick's been calling in for a while. Yeah. And about... What was it, Patrick? Not last week, but the week before, the week before. you had called in with yeah. one day sober. Yeah, two or three weeks ago, something yeah. like that. Well, yeah, you set your alarm to the show. <laughs> hmm And are you... Are, how are you doing? I'm good. Still sober. Yeah. Oh, How long are you sober now? I think it was, this is like the third week. Congratulations. Great job. And what's cooking? You going to meetings? What are you doing for yourself? No, um, you know, I haven't really been doing meetings too much. I've just been kind of working on myself, doing a lot of meditating and just stuff I've learned. That's in great. Rooms, and have you know? been talking to Elisa Hallerman from Halley Life? I have. That's great. Um, Elisa Hallerman, one of the guests from HalleyLife.com, oh. offered her free services That's to great. Patrick to ca- help him ca- with his. She's a case manager. She's amazing. That's great. And she's great. been dealing with Patrick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, what are you gonna? What's up this week? What's the schedule like, Patrick? Um, you know, I I don't really have a schedule. I'm just kind of doing the one day at a time thing. Okay. Um, I'm a lot happier today. I know that. But he's taking care of himself by reaching out for help, whether it's, you know, a therapist or case manager, meditation. Yeah, he's doing what he that's has to great, do. Yeah. You know, Patrick, you know, listen, however you get sober, and right. I think that's Erica's We've point. We've talked about that. And, and, and I'm, we're not, I'm not this, uh, you know, AA Gestapo type of person. Patrick, whatever mm-hmm. road it takes for you to get sober, yeah. that's the road it takes. There's, it took me the 12 right. steps. Right, but there's not I, one right. recipe, yeah. you know? And, and I think, right. I mean, it's amazing that you called in a, a couple of months ago or a month and a half ago yeah. or, or whatnot and that you've just been doing it no matter what you've yeah. been just you keep showing up yeah. and now you have he a poured few a 12 weeks pack over. out two weeks ago essentially right <laughs> so amazing. and that's what he did that was what it took for patrick and thank you for that's the so emails amazing. by the way yeah, Great job. yeah. It, i mean it's fun yeah. i mean he's and he, he's it's it's this is what it's about it's about we're people that would rarely mix that connect mm-hmm. in these in this, the craziest ways sometimes yeah mm-hmm. yeah it's amazing and patrick so this is what i think we should do for this week do something fun for yourself. Enjoy. Mm-hmm. Enjoy your life. Do one sobriety. thing fun for yourself, yeah. Patrick, other than post yeah. politics on Facebook, which is cool. Um, what one thing are you going to do this week? Well, I mean, throughout the week, I really I really just work 12 hours yeah. a day, and then I come home. But the weekends, I, I have a lot of fun. I mean, I got okay, a good. girlfriend, and it's pretty adventurous. So we've been doing a lot of things on the weekends. You don't need to share it all. Um, no, I'm joking. Um, no details. Uh, yeah, no details. We tell our stories in a general way, Patrick. Um, and Jen just got it because she was I, tweeting. No, I wasn't <laughs> tweeting. I was Facebooking to call in. Yeah. Patrick, um, so you'll keep in touch this week? Yeah, I, I got a question yeah. for you guys, actually. I've been writing yeah. some questions down oh, good. for yes. everybody. And um, 
I don't know. This 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 is actually a question for me, but I think a lot of people could benefit from from some advice on this. Um, what are some things you could do if AA or NA is not for you? Good question. Good, great question. I'll let Erica take that question. Well, I you know I'm sober myself, and I got sober. You know, I I'm very familiar with AA, and and I've been to a couple of meetings, but it wasn't something that I. You know, it wasn't something that was my my calling. It wasn't what resonated with me the most. And really, um, I you know I'm a big believer in AA. I think everybody you know could could learn from it. But at the same time, I think if you incorporate some self care every day in your life, meaning like you said, meditating, talking to therapists, reaching out to people that are positive, surrounding yourself you know in, in an environment that's healthy and safe, and you know you start reading, getting to know yourself, and writing, and doing that's good it. things, and listening to music, and really connecting with yourself. What makes you tick, and you know, and that's really what helped me get sober and stay sober and mm-hmm. um, I do have wonderful people in my life I stay connected through therapy through being around people like tonight you know what Judah Judah um, <laughs> Eric Eric yeah but there's that. many other there's, there's ways there's yeah. other ways so. there's without a doubt and Patrick here's the thing it's always going to be there mm-hmm. so if your way isn't working you know I seek therapy I seek and I'm a 12 stepper Eric and I, I go the other way I seek therapy I seek different forms of you know, self-realization. Yeah. You know, of in, in bettering my life. I do too. So, Eric, the cool thing is everything could work together and they could work alone. Mm-hmm. So keep on keeping on. We've got... Yeah. yeah. I want to keep hearing from you, Patrick, yeah. please. Patrick, and- email us all this week. Let yes. us know how you're doing. I can do that. Okay, perfect, Thanks Patrick. For the I'll talk to you Take this care, week. Man. Good Bye, luck. sweedie. Right. Thank you, Patrick. If We've you just tuned in here, listening to Clean Radio, that's Clean with a K. We're having a great show tonight. Um, let's just go to the next caller. We got William from Los Angeles. Hi, William. Welcome to Clean Hi, Radio, William. William. Hello. How are you guys tonight? Hi, William. How, how are you? Not all at once. Fantastic. I was just uh, listening to Patrick. I called two weeks ago. Literally, the call before him, and I am ecstatic to hear him again. Oh, that's um, so nice. It's, it's kind of like, God, I'm, I'm rooting for him. That's so awesome. Patrick, if you listen, so I'm rooting for you. My name is Will, <laughs> and uh, I'm there for you, brother. I know how you feel. Oh, that's, so that's awesome. awesome. You know and what's really cool, Will? If you go on Facebook, and I'm being serious, if you go on Clean Radio's Facebook, Patrick is a, you know, Patrick is posting and all that stuff. You guys could actually connect like that. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And Beautiful. Uh, he's he's just a, he's a cool guy. You and, sound uh, so sweet. What's going I remember mm. you did call him, William. You're sober a while? Uh, yeah, well, I'm not oh. a while. Um, I have three years in uh, January. That's a that's, while that's to people while. that have three yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To people that have a or day. Or ten pa- days. Yeah, to people that have yeah. a day, William, you're like a god. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to me, you're a god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For real. Well, I watch people so many times in meetings, and they go, oh, I got 20 years, yeah. I got this, I got that, and I'm like, wow, I'm just a baby. You know what? And, uh, yeah, it's... Don't minimize all the, the yeah, hard work. that's yeah. when time... Yeah. Just so you know, Ooh, was time that a burp? is time is no. That was yeah. uh, hmm? sorry, William. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was just gonna say time is very important, but not when you hold it up as a card. Mm-hmm. You know, to say I'm, you know, I'm sober. This, you that's know, the ego. That's yeah. the ego. Yeah. yeah, and 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 then, but it's also the other way. I was just gonna say, you there's know, the opposite. Don't go the opposite way, William. Well, three years, man. You are a champ. Mm-hmm. And and it doesn't mean you're the bragging. It just means you've done a lot. Yeah, right, and right. and I know that I yeah. used to do this. I use this card though. I used to be like, I'm under five. I'm a mm-hmm. baby still. Yeah. I mean, I'm still yeah. a baby in recovery because it's seven almost years. But I'm still a baby. But I don't use that card anymore. I mean, I got sober in a meeting where people were That's sober longer than I was somebody. alive. Yeah. So <laughs> I was always the baby, and I I always liked being that. You know, you know, three years. I'm still new. You know, right, but right. William, I mean, you're doing awesome. Mm-hmm. Well, what I did call for, yes. I kind of wanted to give you guys an update. I talked to you last time about dating. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. Great topic. Yeah, and I was, that? Uh, talked about that. I was telling you guys about how um, it's hard for me to date because usually the people I meet drink and well, I don't mm-hmm. want to use drugs, but if, uh, and you guys told me, yeah, just tell them you're allergic. Yeah. So I went out on a date <laughs> last weekend, which is one of the reasons why I didn't come up to L.A., and I uh, went out with a young lady. We had dinner, and she ordered a drink, which was no big deal. Right. So she went to the restroom, and I ordered a tomato juice. <laughs> and uh, she thought it was, I guess she thought it was a Bloody Mary. She was getting a little buzz. And you I kept on ordering Bloody Marys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, William, go ahead. 
Okay. And uh, so she reached over and she grabbed my drink. <laughs> right. And she wanted yeah. to taste it. She tasted it. She was like, there's no alcohol in this. She goes, why aren't you drinking? Oh. I said, For one, I'm driving. I said, we don't want to get in an accident. I don't want a DUI. Right. And she goes, no, really. Why are you not drinking? I said, well, I'm allergic to alcohol. She immediately inebriated and everything. She goes, you're an alcoholic, aren't you? <laughs> right. And did you say, no, I'm a recovering alcoholic? <laughs> I told her, I said, well, I, I have had some issues with uh Good for you. You, you know, could say that. And, and drugs. Yeah. We kind of talked about it for a little while. And, I mean, I wish I had a happy ending for this story, but literally. No pun intended. She, got up, she walked to the bathroom. Yeah. Go ahead. She did not come back. She took a cab back home. Mm. Okay, I yeah. Was Horrible. Okay. Um, by the way, if you just tuned in and listened to Clean Radio, we're on the phone with William from Los Angeles. Sober, talking about dating problems. Eric wants to jump in. Go for it, Eric. I just wanted to know if you're, if you're ashamed of your alcoholism. Yeah. That's what it seems like to me that you're trying to hide. And, and that's fine. Yeah. But I was just wondering. Well, no, absolutely. I, I talked about it last yeah. time. And mm-hmm. I was worried about... Uh, what she would think how she yeah. would judge you yeah. William I'm going to bring up something bigger okay yeah. and I think that's a great okay. question Eric if you're you constantly right are getting the same type of girls is that is that is that yeah, a truth? Said, yeah. yes right maybe <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's your way of saying yes if she has a problem with it no. it's usually her problem right though. but I'm saying what are you doing mm. That's where are you finding? Are you going on like drunkfinder.com? <laughs> like, are you going to find women in Vegas? Because there are a lot of women out there, William. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what supermarket are you going? You're going to like the but, yeah. but in general, there's a lot, but there is a lot of women out there and people that drink when they go out. But I really think it's reflective of her own issues. I think on, the, I think you're right. If it was one or twice, once or twice, yeah. But William's constantly going on dates with people, and they and they they totally have a problem with you not drinking, right? right. That's the sure, absolutely. So why? Where is where? But re, yeah. so I'm almost saying it's what it's who he's, he's attracting, right? It's who, who he's you, attracting, right? You're attracting. Because, I mean, let's be honest, William, and I'm not going to get too deep. You want to find a girl that sure. drinks because... Secretly. Secretly at the end. No, I I'll wasn't going to say even that he to wants the... to drink. I was no, going to say because I know what you it's yeah. easier to... Well, yes pants. or no. Also, he may... He... But that's a part of it. Uh, sometimes... Yeah, I know. He's about to go, too. Oh, God, I wish I could drink just to fit in. Right. To deal with. So I don't have to explain to somebody why I don't drink her and then... The first questions are asked, oh, well, what did you do, or how did you do it? And I'm, and my first question is, look, uh, it's really not your business. But right. I just don't like explaining that to people. And I don't uh, okay. like yeah. to start out any type of relationship, or whether a friendship or not, with a lie. Right, and William, I, William. And remember the, I, remember, the, remember the advice, okay? The advice, <laughs> God, I have a great story that happened yesterday to a friend of mine, my girlfriend's friend, was about... Somebody automatic on the first date was sharing, like about his abandonment oh issues. God. That and, that and, right, right. And so that oh was a God. date that's never happened again. William, I'm not telling you to share about that. We we tell our stories in a general way. Erica, yes. Yes. Okay. Can I just say right. something? Because I'm single and I go out on dates all the time, and I am always asked this. The first thing is is they ask when I. Would you like a drink? No, I don't drink. You don't drink or you don't drink drink? And I'm like, no, I don't drink alcohol. You don't I haven't, drink drink, yeah. I haven't drank in years, you know? And then they say, well, why? Did you have a problem with mm. it? Are you Were you an alcoholic? And I said, I don't really like to label myself as anything. I'm living a healthy life. It didn't make me the best human being when I drank. And now I'm committed to always living the best life I can. So, William, yeah, w- w- yeah, so we've got, we got to hurry a little bit, William, because we've we're got a lot of calls lining up. Yeah, we up. do. I want you to call back Are next week, good? William, okay? I want you to call back next week, but I want you to do me one favor this week, okay? Yeah. Don't go on a date. <laughs> but don't go on a date. No. I want you to with the, with the next person that you actually want to take out on a date. Right. Beforehand, be honest with them, and I'm not saying yes. to them tell them about all the rehabs, all whatever, the whole. Not just the say chaos. to them, hey, listen, you know, I'm sober. I'd love to take right. you out. It doesn't. And I'm not just paraphrase what I'm saying. Exactly. You know, exactly. and be sure. on it. Be don't have to be brutally honest. Not every detail. Right. Not every detail of the story, but give but it a this shot. This is who you are, yeah. and, and be proud of it. Okay, William. I got you. I got you. Hang in okay. there, William. And connect Good with luck. Patrick on Facebook, William. 